Girl, why are you so quiet? What? What do you mean? The girls normally start screaming now. Start screaming! <laughs> I'm here with director Simon Wells to talk about his new film, Carnivore. Simon, how have things been progressing since you guys wrapped? Carnival's going great. You know, we've been sat in post-production for the last six months. We've gone from, you know, a whole bunch of random shots to a complete film. Uh, it's with the sound designers at the moment, all the graphics have been done, all the visual effects, everything. We're just waiting for the last bit of music to come in and then we'll be completely finished. It's really exciting times. Um, now, as a director, do you actually want to delve into any other genres? Because I know that you love your horror. At the moment, I really want to focus on horror. I mean, it's always been my passion. You know, I love action films, I love dramas, I love all kinds of films, but horror is where my grassroots are, and I think I'm always going to be able to find a new way of scaring someone. What can the audience expect when they come to see your film? The audience can expect to see romance, a bit of sex, they get to see a little bit of violence, most of all, really tense scenes of suspense building up to Big scares! <laughs> What's the transition been like between doing short films and a feature length? Have you sort of come across any challenges that you didn't think would be there? Um, funnily enough, the commitment's pretty similar for a short film to a long film. You, you know, you spend six months making a short film or you spend a year making a feature film. I mean, it depends what kind of films you're making. But amazingly, the amount of commitment you have to put into both of them is a lot. <laughs> So it's been quite similar. I think thinking, you know, the longer picture, the longer term, focusing on each little bit as you go through it, which is kind of like a short anyway. So oddly enough, I found them pretty similar. What has been your greatest challenge on this project? The biggest challenge in this film was time. It was so many late nights, so much hard work and so much frustration. You know, one scene could take a week or one scene could take an hour. It, it was just really depending on the complexity of it. I just wish there was more time in the day, really. So more dedicated than you thought, do you think? Yeah, a lot more dedicated. I, I didn't have a social life for the last six months, really. Um, and what has been your greatest achievement on this film? My biggest achievement is making a film that I'm really proud of, one that I'm really excited for people to see, one that I think people are really going to enjoy seeing. And this is my feature debut, and for me, it's always going to have a special place in my heart. If I make a hundred more films, if I make no more films, I'm always going to be really proud of what I've done with Carnival and I hope that everyone that sees it thinks the same. I have to go. I need a break. So have you encountered any problems in post-production or have you learned anything during post-production that you're going to carry on to your next film? I think every film has its own unique set of challenges. So to say, you know, what's, what I'd do differently is kind of hard. Like, I think the biggest thing for me is just frustrations where, you know, some things have cut together, but I think if I had an extra shot, it would make even more sense and it'd be even better. If I, there's just that frustration of a director, like I missed one little shot, I couldn't, you know make it a lot better. Do you guys have a release strategy? Are you going to be at any film festivals this year? We, we've applied for Fright Fest. We should find out any day now. Fingers crossed we'll get in. Um, we're going to apply to all the sort of big uh, horror festivals in the UK, Abattoir, After Dark, Dead by Dawn. <laughs> and release strategy, well, hopefully someone will pick it up for distribution and we'll have it out maybe Halloween, maybe early next year. We'll see what the distributors think. What's going to be next for you as director? I've got a couple of projects in the sort of pipeline. You know, I've got a medium and a long-term sort of project, and, you know, something may pop up in the short term anyway. But hopefully, you know, it won't be my last feature. Well, I can't lie. I'm scared just thinking about watching this film, but I can't wait for it to be released. Simon, well done. Thank you.